Hey guys, welcome back to Main Street Living. Danielle, buying a house is a huge decision and usually the largest financial investment most people ever make. But, but what we do know is that owning real estate is one of the best ways to grow wealth. So there are some good reasons to get into the market, I think. Yes, but buying property can also be very confusing with different mm -hmm. mortgage options, interest rates, and terms. And with so many choices, how do you know what to do? Our go-to expert for mortgage advice is back to help us sort this all out. Please welcome the past president of the National Association of Mortgage Brokers, John Stevens. John, thanks so much for joining us back here on Main Street Living. Oh, thank you so much for having me back. I appreciate it. Good to see you both again. Like well, what? we had to bring you back because there's a lot going on in the real estate market these yeah. days. And it seems like every day we're hearing news about interest rates rising. What's going on with those? So for the first time in the last couple of years, rates are actually doing what we expected them to do. You, you, you may have heard there's something going on in the world right now. And obviously our, our thoughts and our prayers go out to all those being affected by it. But what it's doing is it is making it possible for rates that have been climbing to go down a little bit again. So you're seeing a little bit of relief when it comes to those rates. Uh, the Fed has announced that they are going to raise rates this year multiple times. Uh, but in the most recent meeting, they announced a, a smaller rise at the first time this year than was previously expected. And so, you know, it's always a great time to buy. It really is. But there is going to be a little bit of, of time before the massive rate increase that we've already seen happening and, and heaven forget a, a, a 4% interest rate, right? We talked about this last time that these are still so low and so amazing, um, you know, and, and you really should take advantage of it because we need to raise those interest rates in order to shore up our economy in order to make sure that we can are, are able to continue to exist as an economy, right? Right, right. So John, if rates are going all the way up again, mm -hmm. uh, is it still a good time to buy property? Oh, absolutely. I would recommend even when rates were 18%, buy property. When rates dropped, you know, to under 3%, buy property. Because that's the one thing my dad taught me when I was little. He goes, you know, always find a job that people need no matter what the economy does. And so as I looked at that and I thought of everything, I, I realized that land is something you can't create more of. You can take land and expand an island. You can increase, you know, and dig down areas. But at the end of the day, you're still taking something that exists and you can't create more of. And so you look right now, there was a report last week that it's an eight year wait in some areas of the world to get an apartment. Eight wow. years they have to wait. So yeah. always a great time to buy, always a great time for long term investing. For those of you out there listening and watching who are looking at flipping homes, you know, you may have to rethink that through. But long term real estate investing, it's always a great time to buy. Well, well, that explains why. <laughs> sorry, go ahead, Quincy. What, what I was, I was going to say, your dad gave you great advice. My dad just said, get outside and play. That's oh, I like it. that. <laughs> <laughs> what I was going to say is, since it's such a great time to buy, obviously, it's very competitive in the market. We're hearing about bidding wars on homes. I actually just had a friend tweet yesterday that she was on a work trip and she found out she got the home that she was bidding for and she was crying. So obviously, a lot of emotion that gets into this. What's the best way to handle that? So I, I love that story. It's such a, a energy and emotionally fueled uh, item that we're doing when we purchase a home, right? We're so invested in it emotionally. We, we see our furniture, we see our families, we see generations maybe, right? And that's one of the things that buyers need to make sure they don't get too overwhelmed and too involved with. You need to take emotions out of the home purchase and look at what is best for you long term. Because if we get too emotionally attached or involved in buying, then you're going to see which exists right now. Instances where every home is going for 100000 more than asking price because people are so eager. They're, they're saying, listen, there just isn't enough inventory. Uh, cars are doing the same thing. Homes are doing the same things. Look at people taking advantage right now with just everyday grocery items. I remember uh, there was a, a funny meme on Facebook with wood. You know, and say, there's a trailer of an old, old barn that's been torn down and put into a into a trailer and says, you know, million dollars. Don't try to lowball me. I know my value of what I'm selling. <laughs> right. Because wood was going crazy. And so what that is, is, is you get so emotionally involved with the purchase that you're willing to pay whatever it takes to win. And so patience, pulling back, understanding the amount that you can put into a home without putting yourself at risk you know, they, they talk about many times, don't become house poor. Nobody wants to get into a home and then not be able to ever take a vacation or go. I remember one couple came in to talk with me years ago 
and they were in tears. And the wife says, we wish we just had enough money to buy our grandkids hamburgers once a month. That's how tight their finances were. And so I, I implore everybody watching, don't let yourself get into the emotional overbuying trap that exists in today's market because more homes will become available if you're patient. There's always a good deal if you're patient. If you have to get something now, that's when the overbuying and the competition gets too heavy and then you will overpay for an item. Wow. Well, that's what makes you the expert, John. Okay. Oh. That's what makes you the expert. So, so why is it why is it valuable to have someone like you on our team if we're navigating through the market to buy or sell a property? It's it's critical, you know. And I'm not going to say just you know as me, but anybody out there, you know, at SRE.com, we call them an SRE professional expert. These are individuals who aren't just there, you know, making making their money, right? These are individuals who are ethically trained. They're often members of associations, like myself being past president of the National Association of Mortgage Brokers. If you go there to NAMB.org, you can see individuals who are upheld to a higher level of ethics in the lending industry, people who are licensed and educated. And at the end of the day, by using someone who is an SRE professional expert, they're going to listen to, okay, what is it you're wanting to do? What is it you're trying to achieve? What are your long-term goals? And then they give you all of the options and say, okay, great. Here's what I would recommend. But once again, it's what you need. I'll give you the best advice I know. I'll give you all the options and lay them out for you. But you're still going to decide what's best for you. It's kind of like we talked about this the other day, going to Baskin Robbins. And they say, yeah. I'm sorry, you want pralines and cream. I mean, that's good ice cream. I like it, but I really love cookie dough. Right. You know, I don't want people telling me what I have to do, right? I want to be able to work with that human assisted e-commerce. Let me do as much as I want, but if I need help, let's work with an SRE professional expert that will give me the advice. And then I'll go back to choosing my own and getting done what I need done. Because for all of the people out there and how well educated they are about the process and how much they know, when if you go to a professional, they're going to give you the insight to the stuff you don't know. Henry Ford talked about that, right? You know, to paraphrase, I don't need to know everything because I work with so-and-so who knows about that and that and that yeah. and that. They know what they know and they'll help me become better. Absolutely. And John, what services does SRE.com provide and where can viewers find more information? So I love it. Once again, the, the name of our company, SRE.com, is exactly where you go. S-R-E dot com and when you go there you can see right now we're starting out with mortgages so you go in you click on that be matched and you'll be matched with an sre professional expert or as we call them an spe uh, and they will reach out to you and find the best loan utilizing the latest technology and the best options that are out there they'll be able to find for you the best mortgage that's best suited for you and as we continue to expand as we grow if you scroll down on our website you'll see we're a multi-solution platform. What does that mean? It just means there's going to be a whole ton of services that we're going to provide, whether it be real estate, title, appraisal, contractors, anything that affects your home. Today it's mortgages, but the future is very, very bright at SRE.com to benefit you. And the key component there, you receive a 20% rebate on the commissions paid out. And that, I mean, that's life-changing for a lot of buyers. They now, if the heater goes out, they have that extra money. If they need a couch, they have that extra money. Uh, you look at it and these aren't discount people you're working with. These are SRE professional experts who have made the agreement to take care of each and every single person who goes through the website. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you so much, John, of course, for always for your information and for joining us again. Oh, thank you again. Appreciate it. All right. Take care. Some life-changing discounts going on there. And next, we're going to learn about some life-changing healthcare right here on Main Street Living.